Chris Dwyer with Infinity Disk. Today I'm going to show you how to fix up a logo that's 72 dpi. See, I've selected in here. See some of the, um, the pixels in there have been just kind of shredded because it was saved down to like 72 dpi. A little trick that I do to get in there and fix some of the pixels. Pixels. Obviously, you'll want to sample some of the red right there in your foreground color in Photoshop. And uh, once once you've got the foreground color selected, that you're going to basically replace these these pixels up here. You'll see in the you'll see it selected up here. It's kind of pinkish and and whatnot. Um, up there, the pixels are really really light, so it's going to print really really bad. I mean, I'm zeroed in at like 2,000 percent. So anyway, you, you'll basically select it with your magic wand tool. I just do it as a, um, as a square right there. Then once you have that selected, you'll go up to edit and then come down and fill. And then once fills open, um, you'll see up under contents, you can select it and then fill it with your foreground, background, color, content aware. See right, right there, I've got it selected. It's a window will pop up right here. See the fill, see comments use. Click OK, and that'll fill in that color, those pixels. You can tighten up um, really anything. You know, these, are, you know, these, are, these are again, these are tiny, tiny, tiny pixels. And then to move around that wadget, la magic wand tool, I just use the up arrows and down um, the down arrow arrows, and then just go up to fill, and you can kind of get into a rhythm of filling it up and making the edges more solid so it's not just all raggedy like most of the 72 dpi on the internet and you, that's that's best basically the base way to, best way to fix edges and and all of, a, of a logo anything that's been saved down a ton as most jpegs and png files for the web are so that's just a quick tip